Hi Tubes! Today I will make a review of my Logosol Farmers M8 sawmill. I will start to say I'm not a real reviewer, I'm just a guy with a sawmill. So enjoy! The mill is very easy to use compared to the timber jig I was using before. And the accuracy is uh, yeah, pretty good. It is the same board from many different places, as you can see the accuracy is really good. And the speed you can cut with is rather good, this pile I made in about 2 hours. The height adjustment is something I really like. One click raise the log a quarter inch. So if you will make one inch board, you just count four click for the board and one click for the bar. The log dog is okay quality. The sled that is used in the Formas M8 is the same one as used in the Timmer Jig, as you can see on this picture. It seems like these plastic are wearing down rather quickly. I probably saw on about 100 boards, so you can see lots of wear on them. It's really simple to mount the sled on the saw. You just remove the bar nuts and uh, exchange them for the log sole on longer nuts. And then you just put on the sled. The washer you see me using here didn't come with the sawmill. These are from the timber jig that I own. I don't know why Logosol doesn't send any washer with this one. Here I think Logosol have saved little too much. These uh, bowls are really really tiny for the big hole so they almost go straight through. On the right side you can see the uh, bolt from the timber jig and it's fitting much better. As you see it's made for this one. No rattling around. And I think the sawmill is made in the Philippines because uh, everything is wrapped in brown paper except a couple of parts that was wrapped in this uh, Philippines newspaper. So for the conclusion, I'm really really happy with the sawmill and I can really recommend it for other men. Compared to Team and Jig it's a totally out of life. So, if you have any question, just write in the comment and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. And remember to hit the subscribe button. Thanks!